everybody and welcome back to another gta 5 tutorial today we're going to teach you how to install modded vehicles inside your gta 5 so you can play lspfr with these beautiful vehicles and today we're going to show you how to install the blaine county share pack thank you all for coming by and watching really do appreciate it let's go ahead and jump into it so the very first thing that you guys are going to want to do and there's going to be quite a few steps to this, this is going to be a pretty long video and i'm gonna walk you guys through it step by step so let's go ahead and start with the very first thing that we need to do so you guys need to find out where your GTA 5 main directory is. If you have it through Steam, that's where I recommend it to get it from is Steam for GTA 5. And you have to have a legit copy of GTA 5. So if you know where your GTA 5 main directory is, if you got it from a different platform, just make sure you go to your GTA 5 main directory. If you got it through Steam, I'm going to show you how to get to it. So you go to Grand Theft Auto 5. So Steam, Steam Library, Grand Theft Auto 5, right click hit manage and browse local files. Okay, this is gonna pull up your GTA 5 main directory. And if you look at my cursor up at the top, yours will be different than mine, okay? So this is gonna be your GTA 5 main directory, the route to your main directory, okay? So mine is this PC, Drive E, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5. Yours is different than mine. Remember where yours is. We're gonna keep this popped up, keep yours up. And now what we are going to do is go over here to the side. If you do not have a mods folder like I have one right here, understand you are putting mods inside your game. You cannot go online with these mods. Rage, or not Rage, but Rockstar will ban you from online. So do not do it. So we are creating a mods folder. Right click over here, click new and create folder. Okay, you're going to name it all lowercase letters like I have it here, mods. Okay, and now what you guys are going to do and I will link everything that we are going to download down in the description. Okay, there's going to be three things that you're going to download right now that you only have to download one time. And that's going to be ELS, which is emergency lighting system to make sure your police lights on your vehicles work. You're going to install Open 4 one time. Then you're also going to install Script Hook V one time unless Script Hook V updates. And you'll know if it updates after GTA 5 updates. So... What we need to install first is emergency lighting system so the lights on our vehicles actually work. So we're going to click download this file. We're going to click agree and download. We're going to go up here to the very top and we are going to go ahead and click download on the most updated one. Big shout out to Lieutenant Kane for releasing that on LSBFR for us to be able to use it. So we are going to go ahead and so for those of you that do not have anything to open up your zip files, I recommend WinRAR. Okay, and I'll leave a link down in the description for that. You're going to need this to open up the files that we are downloading. So I use 64 bit, um, depending on your PC, I use 64 bit. So I'm going to click the top one and I'm going to open this up as soon as I download it. Click open file. It just asks me if I want to make changes to my PC. I don't know why the screen goes black. It doesn't let me show that. Um, but once you click yes, you're going to go to here install. Okay, and then you're going to click OK. And then click done and this installs it to your pc so you can open these files up so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to emergency lighting system and we just downloaded it if we go to our downloads we'll see it right here now if you just installed winrar what you want to do is go type here to search type in downloads and it will pull up your downloads folder okay so what you want to do is go right here where it says els right click on it and open with winrar or you go down here where it says open with Click on that and open with WinRAR. Click OK. And now we'll open it up. Now look, is it pops this up right here saying that you have to pay for it. I always click X. You don't have to pay for it. It doesn't ask for any information from you. Um, so what we're going to do is go to our, I'm going to X out of this downloads page. I'm going to go to our GTA 5 main directory. If you lost where that is, I'll exit out of it. We'll go back to Steam. Steam library, Grand Theft Auto 5, manage browse local files pull up our gta 5 main directory now make sure that you guys are not clicked on any folders in here if you see that you're highlighted over it click over here to the side just like this okay click to the side inside the download it's going to pull up like this and you're going to see installation files we're going to click on that we're going to click on grand theft auto 5 we're well, going to take these four files right here 
drag and drop into our GTA 5 main directory. I'm going to drag it over here to the side. Never drag it over a folder. If you drag it over a folder, it's going to drop it in that folder. Do not do that. Just drag it over here away from the folder. So I'm going to drag over here to the side. All four files. I'm going to replace the files in the destination. If it does not ask you to replace the files in the destination, that's because you don't have it installed already and you're installing it. Me, I have it installed already, so it asked me to replace them, and I did so. Okay? So now you have an ELS folder in here. If you click inside the ELS folder, you're going to see a pack default folder. And then inside that pack default folder, you will not see as many files as what I have. You should probably only have police. Okay? So don't worry about that. We're going to go back to Grand Theft Auto 5 up at the top our main directory and we're going to stay right here okay so ELS has been installed that's the only time you have to install it and again I will link all this stuff down in the description that you have to download so it's simple as you just clicking on it it pops up you download it and follow my steps so the next one that we are going to download is called script hook V for ELS to work so again ELS is emergency lighting system that allows the police cars that we are about to download which is this pack right here allows these police lights on it to work okay without ELS these lights will not work and you'll see right here it says this pack right here is ELS and I'll walk you through that here in a little bit but this pack right here is the ELS pack and that's very important to know all right so we in installed ELS we're going to install script hook v this is a one-time download we're going to click download on this we're going to open file we're going to pull this up and we're going to go to the bin folder inside the bin folder we're going to have three files right here so what we're going to do is pull up our GTA 5 main directory again. We're going to go right here and we're going to drag and drop all three of these files over here to the side. Again, do not go over a folder. Go over here to the side, drag and drop. It's going to ask me to replace the files in destination. I'm going to do so. All right. So now that we have script hook V installed, we don't have to install that again. Now, the final thing that we have to install for everything to work besides the pack is going to be open for so what we're going to do is click download now on this we are going to open it up okay so we're going to click open file we're going to click english right here we're going to click continue i'm going to click i accept to the terms of this agreement you guys can read through the agreement that is your choice i've downloaded open for multiple times um, i accept to the terms of this agreement i'm going to click continue then i'm going to click continue one more time and then click yes what this is going to do is Download and install Open4 onto your PC. Open4 is very important for installing mods, vehicles, guns, anything like that into GTA 5. So we're going to click close. Installation Open4 has been completed successfully. There we go. So now we're going to go here down, at our, down to our bar. And we're going to go type here to search and we're going to type in Open4. So Open IV. We're going to open that up. It's going to open up just like this. You're going to go to Grand Theft Auto 5, go to Windows. Now it wants to know where your GTA 5 main directory is. Again, we went through Steam, Steam Library, Grand Theft Auto 5, right click, manage, browse local files, pulls up your GTA 5 main directory. Open 4 wants to know the main directory location. So mine is not the same as yours. Do not follow my path. Follow what yours says. The main directory is up here at the top where my cursor is. So it's Mine is drive, this PC, Drive E, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm going to follow my route. So I'm going to click Browse. I'm going to go right down to Drive E. I'm going to go to Steam Library, since that's what it says right here. And then I'm going to go to Steam Apps. And then it says Common. And then I'm going to click on Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm not going to go inside the, the folder. I'm going to click on it once where it's highlighted. I'm going to click Select Folder. As long as you have a legit copy of GTA 5 and it has your main directory location, it will come up in green lettering. Successfully, Open4 can work with this file. Click continue. Click continue one more time. And it's going to go ahead and install Open4. And it's going to work with your GTA 5. So you can install these mods. All right. So we're going to go ahead and let that open up. And we are going to go ahead and enlarge this. So there's a few steps that we have to walk through in here. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is go up here where it says tools. Go to ASI manager. Install all three of these. As you see, I have them all installed. Go ahead and install all three of them. It should not take too long. Click close. Once you have installed all three of them, go up here to the top. This is a very, very important part. 
A lot of people have this problem. Edit mode needs to be on. So make sure you click edit mode, click yes. Okay, I'm gonna actually switch this over to my speakers. There we go. So make sure edit mode is on. If it's not on, you won't see the light blue box around it. If it is on, you'll see the light blue box. So right there, edit mode is on. Perfect, you need that. Okay, again, make sure you guys have a mods folder. If you do not, make sure that inside your GTA 5 main directory, you create one. It has to be all lowercase letters. If you have not created one, right click, go to new, go to folder, and create a mods folder, all lowercase letters. All right, so we're gonna go to open four. We're gonna go inside our update folder. Update, X64, DLC packs, and we're gonna go ahead and go down here to patch day 25. We're gonna click inside patch day 25. We're gonna click dlc.rpf. And you guys are gonna want to click show in mods folder or copy to mods folder. Yours is gonna say copy to mods folder. Or if it says show to mods folder, either way, click on it, okay? You're gonna click on it. And once you click on it, it's gonna take you straight to that. And to get to that every single time, you're gonna go, we're gonna go from the very start, GTA V, Every time you install mods, you have to be in the mods folder, okay? We just took a file from the update folder and moved it over to our mods folder. So now that we're gonna install vehicles, we're gonna go GTA V, we're gonna go mods folder, we're gonna go update, X64, DLC packs, and we are gonna go ahead and find patch day 25, which that should be the only folder that you have in there. If you have more in there, that's perfectly fine, but patch day 25, is where you want to install these vehicles. So we're gonna go inside patch day 25. We're gonna go dlc.rpf. We're gonna go x64 levels gta5 vehicles.rpf. Now when you're in here, you're gonna see a lot more files in here that you're gonna see in yours, okay? Mine has a lot more files, okay? I already have these vehicles in here, okay? I always test them before I show how to install them. Um, again, I already have them in here. So you see the four tours right there, but we're going to show you how to install them. Okay. So your, your files are going to look like this. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of them. You do not have to delete all of them. I'm just going to delete all of them so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So we're going to go right here. Please, please, two, please, two, please, three, please, four, please, four, please. And I'm going to hit delete on all of them. Okay. So we're about to install them. Also have police old one, police old two, P Ranger, Sheriff, Sheriff two. We're about to replace all of them. So I'm just gonna take them out real fast just so you guys can kind of be on the same page as me. Okay, so we go police old one, police old two, FBI, FBI two. All right, so I'm gonna take these files out of here. Let me delete them. All right, so you guys should probably see these files right here. All the ones that I'm highlighting are the files that you'll see in here. You will not see police or anything like that. The only two files that I have that I'm not going to take out is P Ranger and Ambulance. You guys will not see them either. Okay. So we're going to show you how to install these real fast. So what you want to do is we're going to go to LSPDFR. This is a ELS pack. So it will work for LSPDFR single player. Big shout out to the creator. Thank you so much for this pack. Absolutely love it. We're going to click download this file. And we're going to go ahead and let that download. Once it opens up, it's going to pop up up here. And it's going to take a couple seconds for it to download, depending on your Wi-Fi and or your internet and uh, your PC. So it's going to take me like 30 seconds, and it's going to go ahead and open up. We'll show you how to install these, and then we'll get this stuff inside your game and, you know, show you how to use it because you are using ELS, which is a new lighting system. So I have to show you how to... Use the lighting system and also your sirens now. So, BCSO Mega Pack. So, once we downloaded this, it opens up like this BCSO Mega Pack. You go inside that folder. I'm going to pull up Open 4. So, I'm going to go inside here, and these are going to be all the vehicles. FPIS is going to be the four tours. You got a Dodge Ram, you got a 2020 Tahoe, 2018 Charger, 2014 Charger, and a Crown Vic, 2011. These are going to be the vehicles that are part of the pack. The reason why I'm doing a pack and not just one vehicle is because I I want to show you guys how to be able to install an entire pack. And it's going to be complicated here in a second. You guys will get the understanding of it once I explain it to you. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to go to 
right here on the map okay so i have this map right here and i want you guys here let's show you this first so vehicle models okay so you can find this online i will also link this down in the description so we are going to go up and i'm going to go to right here so this will be more of an understanding for you guys uh because it's kind of hard to explain especially when you're not showing someone so police cruiser the spawn code for police cruiser is police okay this this will be police um the spawn code for the buffalo is going to be police two the spawn code for the you know the tourist default vehicle inside the game is going to be police three and then you also have police four for the undercover default car they have added police five so police five is for the new cruisers that they have in that they added in in december i believe okay and then you also have police gauntlet okay these two vehicles right here are going to be um, new vehicles that are added so it does not go above police five so there's no police six and it does not go above um so there is police b for police bike for the motorcycle there's police old one which is for north yankton and then there is police old two which is for north yankton and then and you could spawn them in inside the game you don't have to be in north yankton for it i'll show you how to spawn vehicles in here in a second once we get in the game police t spawn codes are going to be the when you're inside the game you're, these are the default names for them and you'll see here in a second what i'm talking about i'm just showing you what they're called so police t is going to be a police transporter which is the police van and then you have police mav which is going to be the helicopter okay so these are all the vehicles for police cars that you're going to replace you're going to replace the default cars so you don't see them in the game while you're playing so say you want to be miami police and you didn't want to see any of these vehicles you only want to see miami police i'm going to show you how to do that so again police police two police three police four are city units you also have let me go ahead and if i scroll down let me go to the s's i'm going to scroll down real fast and sheriff where was it i just seen it sheriff and sheriff two are going to be the vehicles out in the county okay so these are going to be Blaine County. So I'm going to show you on a map what I mean. So in the red circle, right here in this red circle, is going to be where the police units spawn. So police, police two, police three, and police four. Sometimes you will see a police crew, police four cruiser, which is a city unit, out here in the county. It's There's nothing you could do about it. Most of the time, if I'm patrolling out in the county, I decide to replace police four. So if I do see it, it's a sheriff vehicle. If I were patrolling the city, sometimes you'll see a sheriff vehicle out here in the city, and I don't like that. So if I'm patrolling in the city, I will replace police, police two, police three, and police four, and also sheriff. If I'm patrolling out in the county, I will replace sheriff, sheriff two, P Ranger, and I will also replace um, police four, because police four sometimes spawns out here. So I'm going to change the color real fast, and hopefully I'm not you know messing your guys's head up but it's it's hard to explain but i do have to explain it to you because a lot of people have questions so in the blue circle okay this is going to be where all the county units spawn in and again just like what i just showed you you have sheriff sheriff two p ranger which is the park ranger um you also have fbi and fbi two fbi two comes sometimes spawns out in Polito. okay so just want to show you guys that so if you're doing a sheriff patrol, you want to replace sheriff cars. If you're doing a city patrol, you want to replace the police cars. Okay, so let's get into it. So I am doing a sheriff patrol. I want to be out in the county. So my very first thing, I want the 2018 Charger. The 2018 Charger is under police three. Say I want it to spawn as a sheriff unit. I'm going to go ahead and change it. Okay, I'm going to change the name of it and I'm going to type in sheriff. Okay, I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go to the next one. The next one's going to be police three. I'm going to change all these files until it says sheriff. So I am going to keep switching through them. It takes a quick second. I'm going to paste that. And then the XML file is a very important one. That is for your ELS. I'll show you this here in a second. So I'm going to right click, click paste, and I'm going to 
put this as share. So in open four, you need to have that in the background. Make sure edit mode is on. We're going to take these three files, the YFT, the YTD, and YFT. Sometimes there's four files. Right now you see an XML file. Do not put that in there. Um, sometimes there's an additional file that comes with these vehicles. So right now there's only three right now, and they'll be YTD or YFT files. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this in there. I'm going to click on Sheriff, and now this will spawn out in the county. Again, out in the county will be out here. All right. Sometimes you'll see it in the city, but most of the time it's all out here. All right. So let's click X on that. And I know you guys are seeing the vehicle right now and you're like, why are the wheels missing? That's just how open four is. When you're inside the game, all the wheels are there. The car looks completely, it, it looks great. And you'll see here in a little bit once we install all these. So now I am going to go ahead and take this XML file. I'm going to go to my GTA five main directory. And this is where a lot of people mess up, okay? I want you all to pay attention to this. The ELS folder that we installed, you're going to go inside that ELS folder, and then you're going to go inside your pack default folder. So go inside here, and you're going to take from that download. Sometimes it has its own folder that'll say VCF, but you're looking for the XML file. So if you go inside the folder that says VCF, you'll see your XML file in there. Sometimes it's with the vehicle files like you see here. So you want to take this XML file, drag and drop into your pack default folder. Okay. It's going to ask me to replace. I'm going to go ahead and replace it. If it doesn't ask you to replace, that's perfectly fine. You just dragged and dropped it in there. The next time it will ask you to replace when you install a new vehicle. So again, Grand Theft Auto 5, ELS, pack default folders where the XML files go. So we're going to pull open four back up and we are going to go ahead and go to the top right here. You'll see a folder with two dots. If you click on that, it will take you back. Okay. You can also click back up here. Um, so now we're going to install the Dodge Ram. The Dodge Ram is already preset to Sheriff 2. So I don't have to change nothing. I'm just going to go ahead and grab these three files, drag and drop. So before I drag and drop, look in here. So if you look through all my files right here that I have highlighted, you will see there's no Sheriff 2 in there. Because a lot of you are going to ask the question, well, I don't have these files in here. That's fine. You're about to drag and drop the file the new files in there it what it does is it replaces default vehicles you won't see them at first until you drag and drop them in there just like i'm about to do so you see i have no sheriff two files so what i'm going to do is take the sheriff two files drag and drop in here and now i have sheriff two files so i'm going to click on sheriff two and you're going to see is a ram 2500 right there looking beautiful and uh that is now going to spawn out in the county again county this is going to be the county where it spawns out and so if you call for backup you're either going to see a ram or a 2018 charger okay so we are going to go right here to mega pack we're going to take that sheriff 2 xml file go to again i'm going to go through this one more time just to make sure everybody's clear on it because a lot of people have this problem grant theft auto 5 els pack default folder we're going to take that xml file for sheriff 2 drag and drop in here Replace in destination, good to go. All right, so we are on a roll now. We just replaced two vehicles inside the game. Let's continue. Let's get this whole pack going. And we're going to go to the 2020 Tahoe. That's going to be FBI 2. Okay, so FBI 2. We're going to drag and drop in here. And we're going to take the FBI 2 XML file, drag and drop into our pack default folder. That vehicle is installed. I'm going to start moving fast now. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go to the 2014 charger. That's going to be police two. We're going to drag and drop into open four. And then we're going to take the police two XML file. We're going to drag and drop into our pack default folder. We're going to go back to here. Okay. So we just installed the Tahoe, which is FBI two. We just installed the police two which is going to be the slick top unmarked Dodge charger, which looks really, really good. Um, and again, in open four, it makes it look like the wheels are missing. Believe me, it's not going to look like that in the game. You'll see soon. All right. So police two is replaced. Um, let's keep going. We got that taken care of. We have this one right here. So let me see if another, I think the crown Vic. So the crown Vic is police four. 
We're going to take this and drag and drop. So you guys remember what I was talking about earlier, how some of these files, which is going to be, let's go 2018 charger. This file right here has three, three files for the vehicle and then an XML file. If I go to the crown Vic, it has four files. Okay. And not just three. So Say I wanted to replace a vehicle. I have to show you guys this because you're gonna it, people are gonna ask. So police two, right here, is gonna be the slick top Dodge Charger 2014. Okay, unmarked unit. Say I don't want it to be an unmarked unit. I want to replace it with another vehicle pack. Say I want to replace it with the NYPD, and I downloaded the pack and I see these files. What you want to do again is you're gonna want to. This file right here has police two, police two, police two, police two. Okay. So actually let's say I replace it with one that has three files right here. Okay. And this one has four. Always make sure you guys pay attention to this because it will cause problems in your game. This, this one that I have installed already, which is the 2014 Dodge charger has four files. Okay. The one that I'm about to replace it with. This is how you replace the vehicles has three files. What I'm going to do is name it the same as that one. I'm going to name it police two. I'm going to go ahead and copy. I'm going to keep going through here and do this real fast. I'm going to name it police two. I'm going to name this file police two. Let's name this one police two, and then we'll do the XML file police two. And then you guys are going to see what you need to do every time that you're about to replace a vehicle. Okay. So paste, we are good to go. So all them files say police two. We can all agree. There's only three files here, but inside our open four, there are four files. Highlight all four of them files, delete all four of them files before you install this one. So right click, click delete. And now all four of them files are gone. Our new vehicle that we're installing the three files, is there if you take these three files and install it and don't delete the four file from the other vehicle it's going to cause problems with your vehicle that you're driving so make sure that you delete that and take care of that so you don't have to do do it if there's so say you know what was it the dodge ram was only three files so say this one's three files and there's another one that you're about to replace that's three files you don't have to delete them all you could just drag and drop but if you're about to install this vehicle and the other vehicle you previously had has an extra file, make sure you delete it. Okay, I got I have to say that. So 2018 Charger, let's put Police 2 XML inside our ELS folder. I'm going to go inside there, show you guys Police 2. And that is the Dodge Charger. Okay, we already installed it as Sheriff. So let's go ahead and go back through here. Okay, so hopefully you guys understood that. I'm, hopefully I'm not losing you. So this one right here, I'm going to replace police two. It has four files. The old one has three files. It doesn't matter. Um, this one has more files than that one. I'm going to replace it. And then we'll click police two one more time. And you'll see it is a marked 2014 Dodge Charger. So that's how you replace vehicles. Um, so say you don't want this pack that you're downloading and you want another pack. That's how you replace them. It's the same thing as adding them. You just drag and drop and it replaces the previous one. Let's take this XML file, put it right there. And now we're, we're done with police two. I don't want to replace that one again. We did it like three times. All right. Crown Victoria police four. Let's go ahead and take all four of these files, drag and drop in here. Let's go ahead and check it out. That is going to be the crown Vic right there. It has like an old livery. So obviously it's like an older unit from the town, um, which has an older livery and the new ones have the newer livery, which you see that a lot IRL. So, we got police four replaced. We have sheriff, sheriff two replaced. Um, P Ranger I already have in here as an unmarked unit. So I have it in here as an unmarked Dodge Charger. So I'm gonna replace that real fast. So if you guys are out in the county, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to talk too much. I'm just trying to explain stuff to you guys because there's so many questions that get asked. So if you guys are out in the county and you're patrolling down these highways, down these, th these highways right here and you ask for a backup unit, it's most likely going to be the park ranger that shows up, which sucks. I hate it, but you can replace their vehicle to match up with your vehicle that you have. So police P ranger right here. I already have it installed. I'm going to right click, click copy, 
And again, you'll see right here, it is a Dodge Charger unmarked. I'm going to replace it with the newer Dodge Charger. So we're going to go right here where it says 2014 Charger. Is that the slick top? It is. We're going to replace these four files. So I'm going to replace it for P Ranger. And you could do this with any pack out there. No matter what pack you download, as long as it's ELS, you'll be able to do this. You could do with non-ELS vehicles, but they're mostly for 5N players. Okay, so I'm just going to delete the P Ranger, and I'm going to drag and drop these in here. There will only be four files. I've never seen more uh, than five files, more than four files for um, any police car. So you should only have four files at the max besides the XML file. So let's go ahead and replace this real fast. And drag and drop over here. You guys will see P Ranger. So when you're out here on the highway and you ask for a backup unit, I like keeping it unmarked, whether I'm running highway or I'm running Sandy Shores Police or I'm running Sheriff. I like to keep it unmarked. So no matter what, I don't have to keep changing this vehicle every time I do a patrol. You can if you want, that's up to you, but this vehicle will spawn when you're asking for backup on the highway out in the county, okay? Um, so, P Rangers replaced, Sheriff is replaced, FBI 2 is replaced, Police 2, Police 4. Um, let's go through, we got PIS, which is going to be Police. There's four files for that. Let's go ahead and put this in the, the XML file in here. So only one that we're missing is police three to fully take care uh police three in FBI. So the slick top is also police. Dodge Ram slick top is sheriff two. So police four is there, it's police three. So let me grab 2018 Dodge Charger and I'm just gonna replace that as police three. So I'm just making sure that all my units are replaced. If you don't replace, and again, we already walked through all this. Again, Sheriff, Sheriff 2, you can see the pictures. And then police is, once I find it, give me one second. Police is all the way up to police 5, okay? All the way up to police 5. So you see it right here. It doesn't go above that. So we are going to go ahead and replace. And this is going to be a lot of replacing. I do apologize, guys, but... It's the best way to teach you so you don't have any problems while you're playing. So let's go ahead and make this police three. And then we're going to have to make it police five. And I like the Dodge Charger, so I'm going to replace it for most of them. So police three. Let's go ahead and take police three, put it in here. And now we have our full, all of our city units full. And we also have our county units full. And the reason why I do city units also um, is just because I have a whole pack. So if I wanted to patrol as, you know, with the four tourists, I could just spawn in police. You, you'll see that here in a second. So we also want to replace um, police five because you will have them default vehicles that spawn on your scene. You don't want that. So replace police five. And we're also going to have to replace police gauntlet. And you guys will not have any default police vehicles from GTA 5 spawning on your scenes. They will all be legit vehicles. All right, police 5. There we go. Let's go ahead and drag and drop this over there. Just like that. I'm going to drag this over to here. Replace. I'm going to go over here and change it to police 5. Perfect. Police five and put that over here in our XML file, our pack default folder. And one last one, we have to get the police gauntlet and it is spelled like this. This is my first time installing this one police gauntlet. So we're going to go inside here. I am going to use the Dodge Ram slick top and replace it for that. Paste. It might have, um, a different handling line for the ram but that's okay that's okay we'll see how it goes for us so police gauntlet paste we are almost done guys i promise we are almost done all i have to do is open up the game after this and uh we'll be able to show you guys all the vehicles that come with the pack 
how to spawn them in and how to use your lights. So this last vehicle and we are almost done. All right, open fort. Police gauntlet is now in there. That is going to be the uh, unmarked Ram 2500. All right, and now we need to take the XML file, drag and drop in here. We are done. Oh, my God. All right, so before I end it, I have to show you guys one more thing. So if you go to LSPDFR, go to Downloads, go to Vehicle Models, go to ELS Compatibility, click ELS. This will show you all the ELS vehicles. If you're going to install an ambulance, it's the same method as what I just showed you. All you have to do is name it ambulance, just like I have it here. Okay, and that's my ambulance that I have inside the game that I've used forever. So you just change the name to ambulance, which that one will probably be called ambulance. Drag and drop in here. Good to go. Let's go ahead and hop inside the game. I know you guys have all been waiting for this. So let's hop inside the game and start this up. Before we start it up, I just want to say thank you all for watching. Uh, if you can help me out, definitely hit that subscribe button. Help the channel reach 100,000 subscribers. I would greatly appreciate it. It would really mean the world to me. And uh, definitely go check out other videos on our channel. We have tons of tutorials uh, to show you how to install basically anything for LSP to far to make your game feel realistic, better graphics, sirens, all that good stuff. Let's jump inside GTA 5. All right, so now that we're inside GTA 5, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to spawn the vehicles in. You will see them patrolling around like you just see one go down the street right there, or you'll see them at the uh, stations, the police station, sheriff station, and all that good stuff. Or as long as you have LSPFR ins installed, what we're going to do is just hit F4. We're going to type in spawn sheriff and hit enter. So it's spawn space sheriff. You can also tab. So if I go right here, type in spawn space S. H E you kind of have to really spell it out. There you go. You can hit tab and it'll fill it in for you and you will have that right in front of you. So we have sheriff right here. So now that we have the charger in front of us, I'm going to go ahead and hop inside of it. It's kind of dirty right now. That is easy to fix. I'm going to go ahead and clean vehicle real fast. So it looks good for us. And what we are going to do is show you how to use your lighting. Now that you have ELS in, you have different keys for lighting. So if you hit J as in James one time and look to the back of your vehicle, you will have the traffic advisor, which is stage one lighting. Okay. So a lot of the creators are different with their XMLs. Some of them make it where your lighting is full stage three lighting. As soon as you hit J, some of them have three stages of lighting. So this is stage one. If you hit J one more time, that is stage two. And if you hit J one more time, that is full stage three so you have stage three lighting going on there and that's how you pull people over. To use your sirens, you wanna hit the number one, two, three, four. And if you hit six, that is dual sirens. Hit six one more time, hit four one more time, the lights, the sirens are off. So I've hit the number two and if I wanna shut them off real fast, I hit the number two again. So that is how you use your lighting. If you hit control P, hit backspace and hit the letter U I R O you could change your lighting patterns up. So if I hit the letter U as in union, you'll see down in this box to the right hand corner that would be your primary and you see it changes numbers. So I just hit it again. It's two. I'm going to hit it again and it's three. If you hit I, that is going to be E is zero one. Now that's to the very right and it changes up the light patterns. So if you look at the lights, my light patterns are different. If I keep going through it, it's going to make it solid and then now it's flashing different. So that's how you change up your light pattern. So you just go through there and mess with that. However you like it, you can make it faster, slower, or just solid lights all together like this. And I don't like that. I like my lights flashing fast. So there you guys go. You now have that in. We'll also show you this. So when I spawn in backup, if you remember, and I'll show you right now. So I just spawned in sheriff. Let me spawn in. Sheriff 2, hit enter, hit F4. Sheriff 2 is right here in front of me, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab it. So with police 4, Sheriff 2, and also FBI 2, they have a problem with tenant windows. There is a plug-in for that. Also, you can download script hook V, or not script hook V, but um, Simple Trainer. 
but you have a tutorial for that. Simple Trainer is amazing. You change the weather, um, you can change the time, you can make your vehicle invincible, all that good stuff. So let me spawn in, spawn police for it, and this will better explain it to you. So let me hit F4. The Crown Vic's gonna better explain it to you than what I am. So let me backspace out of there. There we go. So if you look at the light bar right here, it is tinted out. For some reason, Police 4, Sheriff 2, and also FBI 2 do it. So what I'm gonna do is, if you guys had Simple Trainer, you could change this up. So I'm gonna turn the lights on right now, and you can't really see nothing. I mean, you can kinda see on the back side, but you can't see on the front side. But with Simple Trainer, I could go to hit F3, hit Vehicle Options, I could go to Mod Menu, and I could turn Window Tint off. You might be able to do it in the shops too without Simple Trainer. Um, and there you go. You see the lights are a lot brighter now, and the Window Tint is off. Uh, for Sheriff, Police, Police 2, and Police 3, they're fine. So I'm going to show you something real fast before we take off. So I'm going to call in for a backup unit, okay? So let me go ahead and Force Duty. And actually load my plugins in. We're in a force duty and we're going to call in a backup unit. So the reason why I spawned Sheriff and Sheriff 2 is show you the vehicles that should be spawned out in the county. Alright. So here I'll change my head back to what I was. Letting all my plugins load in. Alright. We'll go back to the same head that we had. So I'm going to call in a backup unit. It should either be the Sheriff Dodge Charger behind me or the Ram unit that spawns as my backup unit. Assistance required in Sandy Shores. So we're going to wait for that unit to show up and it's going to be a Copy dispatch. either a Dodge Charger or a Ram truck. So it's a Dodge Charger. You see it showing up right there. Now for a city unit, it should be either the Crown Vic, it should be a Ford Taurus or a Dodge Charger also. So as you can see right there, my backup unit just showed up. And he is in a Dodge Charger. Don't mind the uniforms because I haven't changed them up you. yet. But he is in the Dodge Charger. So they're spawning out in the county. So let me go over here to the highway. And remember what I said about P-Ranger? So P-Ranger, we replaced with the unmarked 14 Dodge Charger. So I'm going to call backup right here. Let's call for a code 3 backup. Uh, Mount Gordo. And you're going to see it's going to be that unmarked 2014 Dodge Charger. Copy you. Like I said, on. P Ranger spawns out in this area when you call for backup. So obviously you're going to want these type of units right here to assist you. And they have a weird, <laughs> their color on their vehicle is uh, kind of messed up. So, yeah, that's kind of messed up right there. So I would have to replace that with yeah, another vehicle. Due to the fact that I don't want my uh, backup units showing up looking like uh, rent -a cops So, we are going to go ahead and spawn out to the city real fast. And... Teleport. And I'm going to teleport to Waypoint. I'm going to hit... I'm going to call for a backup unit, okay? So, we're going to call a local unit. It should either be the Ford Taurus. It should be the Dodge Charger. Or it should be... Copy that. Okay. Perfect, so it's the Dodge Charger. So these units will stay out in the city. Again, I replaced I Police covered. 3, and I believe, yeah, Police 3 with the Dodge Charger. That's what showed up. So I'll show you right here. Spawn Police 3, right there. So I spawned it with the Charger. So that's why it's showing up in the city, um, and the tourists should show up here too. But there you guys go, you now have that installed. Thank you all for coming by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments. Sorry if there's any confusion. And um, it's kind of hard to explain everything and try not to make a video as long as for making a video too long. So I'm trying my hardest to help you guys out. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would help me out and subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. Share it out for people like you that also need help installing. And uh, check out my channel for other tutorials. We'll see you all in the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe out there. Peace.